प्लीज सर आई थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग अपॉर्चुनिटी सर आई स्टैंड टू अपोज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ नेशनल कैपिटल टेरिटरी ऑफ डेली अमेंडमेंट बिल 2023 सर लेट अस डील विद आर्टिकल 123 In 2017, Supreme Court in Krishna Kumar held that the ordinance cannot be made to serve an oblique purpose. An ordinance cannot be made to perpetrate a fraud on the constitutional process and to achieve a purportedly oblique purpose. Supreme Court has repeatedly said ordinance-making powers are not routine legislative powers and are supposed to be used solely in emergent situations. The word that has been used by Supreme Court in terms of ordinance is necessity and immediate action. which indicate that ordinance making powers are not to be used on mere whims this is what this government has done the court held that where ordinance making powers is based on external grounds and the purpose of ordinance was to perpetrate a constitutional fraud the courts will interfere and strike down such ordinance i hope that third time again you lose this case the supreme court what was this ordinance if not petty politics sir in the garb of law making within 8 days of supreme court judgment the purpose was malefide because it snatched the mandate of the electorate and gave it to an unelected civil servant this is constitutional fraud being perpetrated in broad daylight sir may i give you an example of what the government proposes to sir you are a very seasoned politician a senior politician look at section 45 i4 it requires that before issuing any order a minister must submit his proposal chief secretary chief minister and lieutenant governor and what and list the list of that matters submitted to lg is expansive it includes 45 i4 i matters likely to affect peace and tranquility of ncdt 45 i4 subsection 9 any other matter of administrative importance with the president of india may consider necessary this basically means that before doing anything at all the ministers will have to seek the permission of shri amit shah what use having a minister at all similarly sir let us look at section 45 j subsection 3 which places a duty on the secretary to counsel of ministers to bypass the cm and inform the lg similar clause 4 of 45j4 requires the department secretaries to determine that something is something is likely to cause controversy with the central government supreme court other state go high court once they have determined it they are required to report to lg the, the cm is a show piece is a show by over there Now, Section 45J, Subsection 5, the Chief Secretary is required to ignore the order of the CM Minister, report to LG anything he determines is a violation of the Act. Violation of the Act, you go to court, and that is why we have in our Constitution Article, sir, sir let, let, you want to speak, please, sir. Please. In, in, that is why in our Constitution we have Article 311. Every legislation says that if a civil servant does an act in good faith, he is protected. But you are saying that, oh, if, if you should determine what is violation then why do we have courts let us go close down the courts S sir another example i want to give you in the recital to the ordinance says that ordinance wa wants to ensure that the will of the officer of gncd is represented sir officers have no will of their own the only will that matters in our democracy is the will of the people that is expressed to elections this bill which you have brought is horrible absurd sir i mean this is patently absurd and horrible now sir it violates the principles of federalism why i say elected government is being provided for but the administrative officers under it are answerable to the union government any to an elected appointee principle of federalism clearly applies in this you have an elected government the elected government decides the policy not a, not the not the officials i can understand uh, the, the the pressure which the ministers are facing but for god sake don't put your pains on 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 other elected governments in in this way the better the wrong way sir sir and i want to uh, uh, the honorable home minister here he quoted pandit nehru let me quote what nehru said in 1930 uh, in java in, in ludhiana state people's conference in 1939 nehru said the only final authority and paramount power that we recognize is the will of the people and then in 1938 our freedom fighters moved a resolution haripura stating that the purna swaraj what what was that it meant freedom for all of india including princely states the resolution said that the only kind of federation that can be acceptable is one in which states participate as free units enjoying the same measure of democratic freedom as the rest of india now the honorable home minister says that they will do a better job yes we know you, you did a fantastic job when lawyers protested we knew we knew we, we know that you did, you did a fantastic job by arresting only one community in northeast delhi rights you did a fantastic job 
uh, which should be written, which, 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 should, which will be written in annals of history on January 26 when farmers protested. So what is the point of taking more responsibility when you cannot discharge these responsibilities? Sir, but at the same time, it is unfortunate that it is a lesson for this Delhi government. You supported the removal of 370. So what goes around comes around. You cannot sh shout victim now. And sir, I want to know from the Honorable Home Minister replies. What, Atal Bihari Vajpayee government had tabled a bill in this house for complete statehood. Maybe you were there sir, at that time. You, you placed a bill in this house for complete statehood. What is your policy? Why is the government demeaning the dignity of this august house? Take your political fights outside this house. We want to know what is your position on, on, on that, sir. And, and also, sir, you know, please, if you want to end this farce, remove our 69 amendment. Remove this farce. Remove our 69 amendment. No need of that. And lastly, sir, why are you opposing this man? He is your genetically modified product. <laughs> he came out of your think tank. What went wrong? I am surprised. We knew, we knew that he was your man, he is still your man. Ideologically, he is the more closest to you. Maybe you want to use him for some rainy day when you are not in power. But that is a different chapter, sir. So I, I conclude by saying that I oppose this unconstitutional bill, which violates federalism, which is part of the basic structure of our constitution. This is completely wrong. It will, and, and, and moreover, I am warning all regional parties that day is not far when Bengaluru, Chennai, <laughs> Hyderabad, or Mumbai can become unitary. Let us be careful. Thank you, sir. Shri Mati